Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this very colourful and very dramatic spring look inspired by my top and one of my birds here. So if you're interested in how I got this look, please keep watching. Hey everyone, so for my foundation I'm using my Revlon Colorstay in 320 True Beige just because I want a really flawless base. Under this I used my Garnier BB Cream to prime my face. Now I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25 Medium and I love this concealer. Now just like I've done in my other videos, I'm using the sponge tip roller from the Maybelline Age Rewind product and just using that to blend the concealer out under my eyes and then buffing it through with my foundation brush. Now I'm going in with my Face of Australia HD Brow Kit, a brand new one. If you guys ever buy something and it has this security seal on it and you end up with all this sticky stuff underneath, just a quick tip, if you use the sticky stuff that you just pulled off and stick it back onto the other sticky stuff on the product, you should be able to get most of that stuff off. So I'm taking the waxy side first and putting that on my eyebrows to fill them in. For this look, I wanted to make really thick and dramatic eyebrows just because I wanted to play the look up a little. Next, I'm going over it with this darker brown powder from the kit and just really going to make my eyebrows look super dark and super dramatic. Now I'm just going over it with my L'Oreal Brow Plumper just to keep all the hairs in place. I know this eyebrow looks really, really out there and thick, but I really want to get my eyebrows tattooed, so I just want to play with a couple of shapes before I do. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this 120 eyeshadow palette that I got from eBay just because it had the most colours that matched my top. So I'm going to be choosing this light blue and the dark blue next to it because it represents the light blue and dark blue on my top. And then I'm also going to be choosing a yellow to match the yellow on the bird. So starting off with the light blue shade, I'm going to start packing that on the middle part of my eyelid. I also decided to use this aqua colour just on the inner part of my eyelid just to add another dimension of colour. Now using a smaller shader brush I'm going to start to build up that dark blue colour on the outer corner of my eye. yellow mustard shade eyeshadow I'm going to start blending that on my crease on top of the blue just to mimic the blue fading into green on my top. Now I'm going to start building up the colour of that true yellow on the inner part of my lower lash line. Using it, the other side of the palette, I'm taking this bright magenta shade and putting that on the outer half of my lower lash line and then blending that in with the yellow. Now I'm just going to do the same to the other side. Using my Maybelline Hyper Glossy, I'm just going to create a really dramatic winged eyeliner look. To make my eyes look even more dramatic, I'm going to line my waterline with just a black eyeliner. This will also stop my eyes from looking very clown makeup looking. Now I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic False Lash Mascara. I love the formula but I hate the fact that this wand is so different to the original Telescopic Mascara wand. Now 
Now using my favourite lashes from Amazing Shine, I'm going to use these false lashes in number 110. And of course, using my favourite Astralis AC on Tour kit, I'm going to set the concealer under my eyes and highlight using the banana shade. Using a tapered face brush, I'm going to create a precise contour using the middle contour shade. And then I'll blend it through with my bronzing brush and the last bronzing shade. Now I don't usually like to use blush but because I was creating such a colourful spring look I thought why not so I'm just taking this NYX blush and putting that on the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm using my fan brush just to put the AC on Tour Kit highlighter shade on my cheeks. I swear this highlighter is so underrated, I freaking love this highlighter. Now using this C2 lipstick in the colour Adoration, I'm just going to be putting this bright purple on my lips because why not, I already have 10 million other colours on my face. So that is the finished look, super dramatic and super colourful. Obviously this is not everyday wearable makeup, this was just something a little bit different and fun and colourful for spring just because my whole outfit was colourful. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.